I, uh, I did something interesting this week. I uh, smoked uh, something that I, I saw in a um, cigar shop in the French Quarter in New Orleans. My wife and I had uh, gone down there a week or so ago. And uh, I saw this. I go, oh, I've never seen this before. So I grabbed it. and uh, Well, I didn't just grab it. I paid for it. Uh, but I, uh, I, then I, they tackled you yeah, on the way right, out the door. Right, right. <laughs> right at home with me and, uh, and wound up smoking it this week. Now, it's a Deadwood Tobacco Sweet Jane. Sturgis edition, uh, Sturgis limited edition uh, cigar, and I I've had the Sweet Jane. Okay, and my wife loves the Sweet Jane cigars a lot. I think it's a pretty good cigar overall. I've never seen the Sturgis edition. Well, this is how clueless I am. I had no idea that this was an infused cigar. Yeah, I just it just you know it looked good in the box. I didn't pay attention. I just like oh, I'll it's not this. infused. It's not infused. What do you mean it's not infused? It's pipe tobacco. There it is. Well, okay, so we'll get to that. Uh, here, uh, I didn't know at the time that Deadwood was made by Drew Estate. So uh, I, then I might have guessed that there would be some kind of additional infusion or a, a additional let's, flavoring Let's face to it, it so. though. Do you have a picture of the label? You bought it because the label's awesome. Uh, the label was just way too yeah. cool. Yeah, and, and uh, it's, it's, on a, it's on the picture that you'll see there. It's a, it's, you're, so you're right. You know, you put a skull or a Day of the Dead thing on something, I'll probably buy at least one. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few of the yes. tequila bottles at your house. Yes. <laughs> see? See, there you go. So here's the particulars. Uh, Nicaraguan tobacco, Maduro wrapper. Uh, I could detect some sweet weakness on it when I was, you know, punching it and getting it ready. Uh, and uh, so once I fired it up and and then I realized it was infused, or Alan has corrected me, that it's actually uh, pipe tobacco, which makes total sense, by the way, based on the flavors I was getting. Um, so anyway, once I could tell it was flavored, I uh, I went off to the internet and I discovered why the cigar reminded me so much of an you, acid because it was the Googles. Uh, I asked the Googles and uh, that it was made by Drew Estate. So the pre light uh, was dominated by a real distinct sweetness. Once I lit it, that honeyed sort of sweetness vibe was joined by a more traditional Maduro tobacco sweetness. They both kind of work together on that. That's Cavendish, uh, by yeah. the way. That you're well, yes. Uh, that so honestly, it took me a few moments to get used to this because I wasn't expecting it. But once uh, you know, once I kind of settled settled down, uh, I started to really enjoy it. The flavor reminded me of the acid cold fusion tea cigar, which is one that I used to smoke uh, quite frequently. Uh, it was very smooth, very full of flavor. The Deadwood line uh, from Drew Estate is named after the Deadwood Tobacco Company and Cigar Bar mm -hmm. in Deadwood, South Dakota, which is one of the first locations that ever carried Drew Estate cigars. And uh, that was back when Jonathan Drew was first starting out. In addition, they made this one to commemorate the Sturgis Bike Rally, which of course has all the major ties to Deadwood. And uh, uh, So in addition to the sweetness, there were solid notes of coffee, Earl Grey tea, the burn was perfect, and yes, Cavendish. Absolutely. It it reminded me of having a very aromatic pipe smoke. So um, after I got over my initial surprise, um, I really loved it. Uh, I hadn't had an acid in quite some time, although I did try one of those newly re-released Lars Teton cigars this was actually much better, uh, much better. Uh, it was medium bodied, bodied quite good. If you don't like flavored cigars at all, this one's not going to change your mind. Uh, but if you're like me and you enjoy them once in a while, it's a nice one to have in your humidor. Eight to nine dollar cigar, price to quality, I'll give it a five. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't want to have paid ten bucks for it, but uh, I enjoyed it. So there's a there's a few in that line. There's the Fat Bottom Betty, and there's the um, well. Crazy Alice. Yes. Crazy Inter Alice, so yeah. it's interesting that you mentioned that. Isn't the that line Alice? has three. Sweet mm -hmm. Jane, Crazy Alice, Fat Bottom Betty, and the line was originally called Three Yummy Bitches. Bitches. <laughs> Not exactly the most woke uh, name, but they changed it, and sharing that allowed me to say woke and bitches on the same show, which I, have, <laughs> you know, which is always so been they a, also, a dream of mine. They you know? also offer the Sweet Jane in a tin. Mm -hmm. Yes, with, with the, the little cigarillos. The yeah. smaller, mm -hmm. yeah, the almost, is this cigarillo size? Yeah. I don't, yeah, okay. Yeah. And like I said, my wife loves those because she doesn't like to dedicate a lot of time to smoking a cigar. And, and she, she enjoys the, the flavored or, yeah. cigars, but she also doesn't like the ones that are infused, like really heavy, perfumey stuff. Mm -hmm. And those have become her favorite because it's a very authentic Right. Sweet cigar. It was it's an not, enjoyable smoke. I mean, yeah, I it doesn't was, taste. I, it doesn't smell or taste like weird perfume. To be totally honest, or once, I, once I got into the first third, I thought I don't think I'm going to like this very much. And by the time I finished the cigar, I really yeah. enjoyed it. So it was very. Yeah. Cool.